Hey everyone, I'm Anna, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you an amazing Cossack hooter that is village. It is located in a beautiful place on the River Don, not too far away from my town, only about 100 kilometers away. And today we are having a family trip. We're going there with my husband and two children. Come with us and enjoy! Zalatovsky, which means an old golden village. There are about 20 houses here, all colored in white, blue colors. Over there you can see River Don, and uh, we will go to the Ethnographic Museum afterwards, which is over there. The village had been uh, in a very poor condition for decades, but then about 20 years ago, some patron came here and helped the countrymen to regain the uniqueness of the village. And since then the life in the village had changed for better. The modern facilities were brought here, such as gas and water supply. Oh, look who we have found! <laughs> this is a very small mouse living near the church. So the church is closed today? I don't know why, it's uh, Sunday, Alice. but maybe we just uh, came very late to this village. <laughs> it took us quite a long time Alice. to get ready for the trip with two kids, <laughs> as usually. Okay, Daddy wants to show his little girl a mouse, <laughs> but I think it will run away. Hurry up, Alisa, hurry up! Big big goat, wow. Look at you. A very interesting kind of goat. 
And there we can see pigeons house. They keep pigeons here on the hill near the church. But I think it's somebody's eye. Ah, yeah, it's somebody's private territory. So some people keep those pigeons. The population of the village is only about 50 people. Some people who have duchess come here from time to time. Let's look around a bit before going to the ethnographic museum. has found a small park and you can see different characters from the Soviet and Russian cartoons. They have been popular for many generations of the Russian. I think it's time for me to show you the ethnographic museum, how the Cossacks lived in the past. These are the decorations which were created especially for the TV series The Quiet Dawn, which were based on the novel written by Mikhail Sholokhov. And these decorations after the movie was shot were brought here in 2000. After being transported here, the decorative houses were rebuilt according to the old Cossacks technologies so that they looked real. They are even suitable for living. And they look as if their owners uh, just left them for a minute. Так, Алис, не надо примерять, не надо. Это музей. Музей, ты мияшек. Можно? Да? Иди сюда, я тебе что-то покажу. The inner decorations of the Kurin depict the life of the Don Cossacks during the early 20th century. Starting 1912, just prior to World War I. This is a kurin of a Cossack of average means. 75% of Cossacks belonged to this class and 25% were the prosperous Cossacks. They possessed small pieces of land and cultivated them on their own. There were no poor Cossacks, but everything changed with the Russian Revolution. The novel and Quiet Flows the Dawn, or The Quiet Dawn, deals with the lives and struggles of the Don Cossacks during the period of the World War I, Russian Revolution, and Russian Civil War. It is considered one of the most significant works of the world and Russian literature in the 20th century. Some of the things here remind me of my childhood. My grandmother had a similar bed 
with a pile of pillows and a feather bed, a carpet hanging on the wall, a samovar, a book stand, lacy serviettes that were used to make home look cozy, a distaff, mats that were knitted or stitched with small pieces of fabrics. These big casks were used for keeping all kinds of food in them. Это кровать офицерская. Mm -hmm. Казак ее брал с собой только офицер в поход. Mm -hmm. Потом мог разложить в чистом поле, mm -hmm. чтобы поспать. Что здесь? Алиса, mm -hmm. смотри. Здесь ниточки, видишь, нам матывали до нити основы. Передний вал, второй вал, задний. И вот когда их наматывают, видишь, сначала через берду. Пойдем на печку с тобой залезем. Удобная печка. Алиса, могла бы там спать на такой печке? А? Хотела бы. Хотела бы. С мамой. Кстати, печка это действующая. На ней прошла кулинарная передача на федеральных каналах. Mm -hmm. Ты на инстаграм наш подписан? Нет, вот я, кстати, хотела спросить, где у вас? Приедем еще раз обязательно. Тем более нам тут недалеко. Всего лишь 100 километров. Ну, Ализа, ты там ткань делаешь, да? Ага. Понравилось? А, это та же комната, да? Я хочу колбасы. Какой колбасы? Это в машине у нас. architecture, indoor decorations, and efforts that are being 